Well, many of us know Oak Ridge as the secret city, but it's certainly no secret. The reservation played a big role during the Manhattan Project and the Cold War. The hazardous waste generated from those operations landed the reservation as an EPA designated Superfund site. In our week long series about hazardous waste sites, WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes takes us inside Oak Ridge and its cleanup process. Stephanie. Robin and John, Oak Ridge does major research for national security for the work of the Department of Energy. So the department is in charge of the cleanup. I also talked to TDEC, city and county leaders and oversight boards. They believe the Oak Ridge Reservation is a highly regulated, well-funded cleanup project. These people are proud of the work the reservation is doing, but cleanup will take a long time. 75 years ago, in the quiet hills of East Tennessee, a secret city emerged, enriching uranium to fuel the world's first atomic bomb and demonstrating pilot scale production of plutonium in a nuclear reactor. In the years following, its research and missions helped keep the U.S. from the brink of Cold War destruction. Now, decades later, we are still cleaning up from that historic role. And our sole mission is to clean up those sites. Jay Mullis is the manager of the Oak Ridge Office of Environmental Management. In 1989, the EPA designated the Oak Ridge Reservation as a Superfund site. The reservation encompasses three major facilities, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Y-12 National Security Complex, and the East Tennessee Technology Park, or ETTP, and formerly known as the K-25 site. Contamination is mostly located in these areas where the public is not allowed. Starting with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, where major demolition work has not yet started. Some 120 facilities like these contain a long list of radiological and chemical hazards. The facilities are no longer used and they are heavily shielded. Most facilities would not harm a person, but in some parts of the old reactor facilities, if you spent an hour inside, you could get a lethal dose of radiation. So what we've been doing is going after the hazardous material, trying to get that out of the facility and then stabilizing the facilities. As you can imagine, a facility from the 1960s that hasn't been maintained tends to degrade over time. It's a project the government takes seriously. This year, Congress gave $640 million to cleanup efforts, up from the $400 million range over the past five years. But still, Mullis says there's no specific date for complete cleanup. So there's decades worth of work left here in Oak Ridge. But cleanup at other sites is further along. At Y-12, the challenge is mainly mercury. During the 1950s and early 1960s, more than 20 million pounds of mercury were used for lithium separation. So there was about 700,000 pounds of mercury that was lost to the environment over at Y-12. DOE has done major work to recover it years ago, but cleanup on site is still complicated. There were three large buildings over at Y-12 that used mercury, contaminated the soils, contaminated building structures themselves. And what we've seen over the years, if we go disturb the soils over there, we'll have a high flux of mercury that'll get into the creek. One, two, three, throw. So the office is building a mercury treatment facility to try to help reduce releases, especially as they prepare to remove some of the facilities. They aim to have the treatment center running in 2024. At ETTP, cleanup is nearly complete. Out here will be done uh, with the major D&D efforts in 2020. The main uh, contaminant out here was uranium, and so we we basically cleaned the vast majority of that up. The large process buildings that had the majority of the uranium are gone now. Now, the plan is to develop the former K-25 site into land for private sector industry. As of 2016, more than 20 businesses have started operating there. The site also has a 3,000 acre nature preserve and plans for a national park are in the works. And on WBIR.com, you can hear from Senator Lamar Alexander about his thoughts on the cleanup at Oak Ridge and the overall Superfund program. Robert and John. So, Stephanie, are, are there any health risks when it comes to the contaminants at the sites? Well, government health reports show online that mercury and uranium are not a public health hazard, and we'll have those reports to a link on our website online as well. So.
All right. And what, what is next here, Stephanie? Tomorrow we'll take you to Harriman, Tennessee, along the banks of the Emory River, where an old paper mill site has just started its EPA cleanup. Look forward to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well,